Hello folks, this is the dump bucket, 512-461-2760, 512-461-2760, if you'd like to get a hold of me uh, and purchase one or anything like that. I've been here on this job site for a couple months, I've been working on a job here in Kempner, Texas, and I put this up here to show y'all what's happening. How this dump bucket works and uh it's been a couple months i think plus maybe and i've got uh let uh, everything out of the tanks yesterday evening and i'm all set to go this morning and head out so i'm gonna pull this bucket up rinse it out and go from uh go to the next job site and uh you know use the bucket again obviously but um, we'll see what it looks like in there Get these rocks off here. Just off the top. And I'll cover this hole in when I'm done, obviously. Here we go. Unhooked the flex pipe for the bucket, the dump bucket. And I'm gonna pull it up here. I don't know how much, it shouldn't be too hard to pull it up because now I've got it open for test site. Then I'm going to rinse it off and I'm all done. Pull this bucket up. There we go. Come right out. There's the bucket. It's been a couple months. To tell you the truth, I can't really smell anything. I should be able to, but I can't really smell much right here at all. Uh, there's a dump bucket pulled up out of the hole. There's the hole with a few rock we put in around it. And then I'm going to pull this camper up. Going to cover the hole up, move to the next job site. And still got the bucket in my hand, obviously. I'm going to take this lid off. You know, there's mud and everything on this bucket. It's been sitting here for a couple months. So I'm going to take the lid off, see what's... Uh, Left inside it to rinse off, but you can see it's pretty dirty. It's been an open hole for a couple months. And then uh, I'll rinse it off. So here we go. Try to take this lid off. It'll be a little tough with one hand. Um, might not be able to do it either. Nope, probably can't. A little bit tough there. Um, I'm going to try to set this thing up. Walk over and grab my other glove. Sorry about that. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Let's go this way. Sorry, folks. There you go. See the dumb bucket. I'm gonna take the lid off. See how it looks. All right. Take the lid off. Obviously, it's gonna be a little tough. Looks like I get the ring off this thing first. That would help. Obviously, you got gloves on, and use these for probably use rubber gloves would be better. But here we go. Let's see what's inside this. Yeah, there's a little bit of solids in there. A little bit of toilet paper, but not much. I'll see, I'll show you so you can see that. I think you can see that from here. A little bit of solids in there, it's been a couple months. And I'm going to put it in the hole here. Okay. And I'm going to rinse this bad boy off. And uh, we'll go to the next one. Oh, you know what? That was. Uh, Oops, sorry about that, folks. That's a dump bucket. You know, there was a toothpaste tube in there for some reason. How in the world did that get in there? I don't know how in the heck in this. Well, anyway, there's most of your solids is that toothpaste tube. Because there's a lot of toothpaste in it, but uh, I don't think I'm going to reuse it. 
Anyway, the dump bucket. You see what was inside? Just a little bit of solids there. A little bit of toilet paper maybe. I can't really tell. Not much. I'm going to cover this hole up. Rinse this bucket off. It'll be good to go. Thank you, folks. Sorry about the video. Doing this myself here. Thank you.